Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Priority Hall and Junk Removal, LLC. Back with another content for you to enjoy. Tundra is back, the Tundra is back, and we are back in action. But it wasn't without a struggle. I wouldn't say a struggle, but it was, <laughs> let's just say something, <laughs> when we got the truck back, something happened, okay? <laughs> I couldn't believe it, but something happened and after I was using the truck. It was, uh, it was interesting, it was interesting, but we were able to resolve it on our own. So this is just video content and documentation to show you the true events that occur with my business. As they say, growing pains, but I wouldn't really say the experience is pain. You gotta turn your painful experiences into the most beneficial experience. You know, learn a lesson, you know, turn it to a win. You know, always turn that W, <laughs> reformat it to a win. Enjoy the video, guys. All right, guys, here's a quick update. This morning when I went to fire the truck up, the temperature gauge went up above the normal line. And I, I just washed my truck last night, turned the truck on and you can see fluid here. So I had some fresh splattered fluid and you can check right there. You can see some fluid as well. And on here too. I actually pinpoint the issue and it's the lower hose right there. Jeez, that is a lot of fluid. You guys can't really see it, but there's fluid all around. The belt is saturated with fluid. I can see exactly where that fluid's coming from. All right, guys, I don't have that much space left on my phone, but I think I, I, think I found the issue. So I noticed by my uh, lower radiator hose, I noticed some fluid dripping. I see it. It's a simple leak. See that hose right there? You guys can see it. It's probably a little bit blurry, but right there. That's the issue. So that's where the radiator fluids come from. And I can see it coming up right now. That is the problem, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, we have a problem. <laughs> Positive side of it all is that we found it. This hose is leaking, and it's leaking on our uh, accessory belt, flicking fluid here, there, everywhere. So it's 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 looking like okay, we could have a leak there, but it's right here. So we're gonna we're gonna take care of this source right here. I gotta get my other needle no pliers. I'll take a look and uh, I get back to you guys. This hose right here. So this metal hose right here, there's our actual rubber hose. That hose right there. So you can see a clamp right here. I'm trying to see if that's the clamp for it or for a different one. I need to first get everything else out the way. Like this thing, break that loose. Okay. So now you guys can actually see it right there. So it's basically, uh, we're missing a hose clamp. That's basically our issue. Missing a hose clamp. This hose clamp right here needs to go up and needs to clamp back down. Let me just uh, fool around and see if I can get that uh, hose clamp back up. I'm gonna try to see if we can utilize this bad boy here. Okay. We're gonna try that one there. But I'll be back when I'm finished. I added more fluid. It wasn't much that I really needed to add here. But I also refilled my uh, reservoir for the coolant. Got that cap on. This hose here. As you can see, we got the clamp back on. I'm gonna start the truck up and uh, 
just monitor this area and see if we have any uh, other leaks. If not, then we'll just uh, take some water, trinkle it down in this area, and uh, you know, begin the cleanup process. All right, so I'm gonna turn the heat on high. Got any leaks coming from here? And this is the passenger side. I don't see any fluid coming from our hose. I don't see any on the ground. We found the source. It was just a hose clamp that wasn't reconnected, and we reconnected that hose clamp, and we're good to go. You know. This big old 5.7 V8. She's a beast. Now, we just need to clean this bad boy up and, uh, you know, rinse this down and then clean up the ground for Mother Nature. Dealership, they did that thing. You know, they got the truck done. You know, uh, it was just a hose clamp. I'm not gonna be mad about that. You know, leave room for error, okay? Don't never expect that everything's gonna go perfect. Always expect the unexpected. Problems are the experience to teach you to help you grow truck's been running probably 15 20 minutes or something like that see all the hoses nice and dry where the source of the leak that's also dry and there's no fluid coming from there so we are absolutely good to go with the 5.7 v8s it's very common that you're going to have water pump issues the stock water pump it's not necessary the water pump itself but it's the seals when you get the truck from the factory uh those seals tend to leak over time so you know once you swap it out you'll be good to go i tell you i miss this truck i miss this truck for sure i'm trying to tell you this thing is so enjoyable to travel from site to site now gas wise whoo lord she's killing me She's killing me, especially during this uh, economy. Lord, she's killing me. So when I actually bill for jobs, trust me, I have to bill for inflation um, and gas and other things. I have to bill for it. I have to bill for it. There's, there's just no doubt about it. If I can't bill for it, I can't do the job because I can't operate a business without you know, being able to afford the cost of business operation we all work, but we work for a reason. We don't just work for just to gain a profit for ourselves. No, we work because we need to take that source of income to pay for something. You guys get what I'm saying. But anyway, I had some people on YouTube ask me exactly how well does the Tundra 5.7 tow my uh, 7x12 uh, dump trailer. It tows it perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. The only true issue that I will have with towing concern with the Tundra is that when you put that dump trailer on, gas mileage, you're going to see it. If you're going to tow with a Tundra, tow with a tow, tow a utility trailer. Don't tow a dump trailer because dump trailers, they the, the weight itself is, is going to, you're going to see it on the dashboard, all right? <laughs> I'm just being real. To me, I don't have a problem with it because I... Uh, I grew up uh, in a household where my dad, he had trucks and he had V8 Chevys, okay? So everything was guzzling gas, all right? So that's what I got used to. I, I got used to seeing gas being, you know, being sucked out of your pockets and sucked out of the dashboard. <laughs> I'm being real. As far as business growth down the line, I would love to be able to purchase a uh, diesel truck okay because of the fact that the diesel truck will have uh, more towing capacity all right and it will be more fuel efficient some diesel trucks okay so that's 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 the long-term goal is to, is, is to get a diesel truck i have my tundra this is this is this is basically the truck that i started with the truck that i could afford so this is what i'm using again my theory is use what you have don't try to force yourself into debt or bankruptcy trying to get yourself a big fuel efficient dump truck or truck in general use what you have 
within your means and budget, all right? Maintaining this truck is very, very, very doable for my business because all I have to do is change the oils. <laughs> That's it, change the oils, change the uh, brake pads here and there, change the spark plugs, and that's it. The incident with the water pump, you know, it was unfortunate, it was unexpected, but it was a common issue. So I'm cool with that being a common issue, you know, stock factory, water pump seals leak. I'm totally cool with that, you know? We got a good, reliable engine, good, reliable transmission. I'm totally cool with having that as a common issue, all right? So again, that's the reason why I got the Tundra is because of the maintenance. It's far much affordable. You guys kind of understand what I'm saying. I'm starting off with what I have and what's working best in my pockets financially. My hope is that eventually as I continue to do the work that my business will grow and we will we'll, we'll be able to get that uh, high demand. We'll be able to get you know that high custom demand down the line where my phone is just blowing up that I can't even keep track, you know. I eventually want that, you know. I, I want those type of problems, you know what I'm saying? I, I want those problems where I'm so overbooked that I can't book, you know. I want those problems, but, you know, because when those problems happen, then that means, okay, it's time to hire. Which, speaking of, it's, it's, it's crazy. I had a, a gentleman actually call my phone, call my, uh, my phone and ask, you know, hey, what age do you need to be to uh, start at your company? And I'm just like, huh? like um, repeat that i'm like could you please repeat that question again so sure enough he repeated it and i was just like wow this is crazy i'm saying to myself this is crazy i'm getting phone calls about hiring i'm like man that will be super duper cool i started this business to provide an opportunity for myself family and friends so it's more so a family business but I am still gonna keep on the table that, you know, if, if me and my family and friends are super busy with projects with, 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 with my business, then we'll, you know, we'll, we'll contract that out to someone else. But again, that's, that's going down the line. That's going down the line. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm talking now, but I'm also trying to speak in its existence for down the line. But, you know, my current goal is to keep self-improving uh, for this business. I'm not trying to speak on everything because, you know, the less people know, the more you're able to work on those self goals without distractions or without pressure. I could go on and on, but I don't wanna keep, make it seem like I'm rambling and I definitely don't wanna use up you guys' time because you, I'm pretty sure this video has already been long enough. But um, yeah, Tundra is back. We have been grooving and moving. If you guys are out there that have a Tundra, you know, 5.7, you definitely can't get involved hauling uh, a dump trailer. I wouldn't really necessarily say that it requires you to put it into a haul, but when it comes to like tree, tree stump, you see that bad boy right there? That big boy. Yeah, she's a big, a big girl. So something like that, you can haul on your dump trailer. You could definitely haul it with the dump trailer, but just keep in mind, it's gonna be some weight. It's going to be some weight. If you do have to drive up a steep hill, put on tow haul. Uh, if you have to drive down a steep hill, depending on the speed of traffic, I usually put it into sports mode. And I'm not putting it into sports mode to go fast, but I'm putting it into sports mode to basically have control of the transmission. By leaving it in a gear, sets a, uh, it's basically like, you know, I'm putting it into uh, cruise control. I'm, 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 I'm trying to set it into a gear range. I don't wanna go too fast and I don't wanna go too slow to basically control the gear range, speed range. And that way when traffic does slow up, when I put my foot on the brake, I'll have enough adequate time and I'll be at a certain speed to accommodate the load, the heavy load in the back, and to stop in a timely manner. I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.